Hello dreamers, this is probably one of the most requested videos applying for permanent residency of Canada through Quebec immigration program. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the overview of QSWP or which is now known as regular skilled worker program. I'll tell you the details about the ARIMA portal. I'll tell you about the EOI system and its points table. How will you get points in the Quebec immigration system? I'll also tell you the process. I've divided it into different steps so it will be very easy for you to understand. Apart from this, I'll be telling you the processing times, the fees, everything. So basically everything you need to know about Quebec Immigration Program in this video. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos every week, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so before we proceed, let me tell you a little about Quebec. It is actually the Canada's largest province by area. It is also the second most populous province after Ontario. And French is the sole provincial official language of Quebec. However, there's a big population which also speaks English now, but it is majorly a French dominated population. Okay, the capital city of Quebec is Quebec City and the largest city is Montreal. Now, there's something very interesting about Quebec. In 2006, the House of Commons of Canada passed a symbolic motion recognizing the Quebecois as a nation within a united Canada. So, this is the reason why Quebec is always different from the rest of the provinces of uh, Canada. I'll talk about this uh, particular thing in some other video, but this video is about the regular skilled worker program. So let's start with the overview of the regular skilled worker program. Earlier it was called the Quebec skilled worker program, QSWP, but now it is called as a regular skilled worker program. Now this program has got nothing to do with the express entry. So don't get confused, forget Express Entry Program, which was the federal government's program, forget about it. It is similar to it, but it has got no relation with the Express Entry Program. Earlier, it was a first come, first served program, but now it is totally different. We have to submit the expression of interest through the ARIMA portal, which was launched in August of 2018, this year. Okay, now... Selection is made on the basis of a selection grid with points awarded on the basis of various selection factors and criteria. So, first of all, training, which includes your level of education and area of training, your work experience, French and English proficiency, characteristics of accompanying spouse, your stays in Quebec and family relationship with a Canadian citizen or a permanent Quebec resident, age and also your financial stability so you get points for all of that and uh, the, i'll come to the points table this was just an overview but to let you know this has got nothing to do with the express entry so don't get confused okay now the process so first of all you have to get the language proficiency score for english you have to appear for ielts general Mind it, unlike the express entry system, cell pip is not acceptable here. IELTS is the only one which is acceptable. And for French, there are a number of uh, tests and diploma courses which gets accepted. Okay, once you've got the language proficiency score, you have to create an expression of interest profile in AIMA portal to enter their pool. Now, based on your score and labor market needs, candidates drawn from the Quebec Expression of Interest pool will be invited to apply for a Quebec Selection Certificate, which is also known as CSQ, and would have up to 90 days to submit their application. Documents need to be submitted in this 90 days time frame, and processing times may take up to one year to issue a CSQ. Okay, the candidates who obtain a CSQ may then apply to the federal government for Canadian permanent residents. Mind it, the federal government is primarily concerned with the applicant's medical and criminal admissibility to Canada 
and not his or her human capital or economic credentials which have already been assessed by Quebec. So you have to submit all your documents apart from the medical uh, medical certificate and the PCC uh, to the Canadian government while you have to submit all other documents to Quebec. Okay, now the ARIMA portal, which is the most important and crucial part of it. It is the portal dedicated to the expression of interest system, EIS, of Quebec. Anyone above 18 years of age who is interested in Quebec under a regular skilled worker program can create a profile free of cost, so you don't have to pay for it. Users enter a virtual waiting room where they wait until notified their turn to access the portal. The wait is like like, like 2-3 minutes, so you don't have to worry about this wait time. Once access is granted, users will have 90 minutes in the portal before the session expires. So you have to complete the form in the, in the 90 minutes. But if you're not able to complete it in 90 minutes, you're actually given 90 days to complete it. So 90 minutes is just the time frame for that particular session. You have to, you should actually save all of the uh, forms which are filled over there so that before the session expires, you actually have it all there. But you have to, you'll get 90 days to complete it. Earlier it was 30 days, now it has been increased to 90 days. Once your EOI is filed, it will be valid for one year. And it will become invalid after that time period. It will automatically be deleted. You can update your EOI profile anytime during the entire period, but cannot create two profiles. So please take a special note of it that you can update it, but cannot create two profiles, just like the Express Entry profile. Documents are not required to be submitted at the time of submitting an EOI. So you need not submit the documents and you need not pay the fee at this time. After you get the CSQ invite from them, then you have to submit the documents. Okay guys, let me tell you some important points before I proceed further. In the year 2019, a total of 24,800 CSQs are to be issued for various streams, out of which I guess something around 19 to 20,000 CSQs are to be issued for the regular skilled worker program. Now the ECA which is your educational credential assessment is not required in the case of Quebec immigration. So you need not send your transcripts and uh, other documents and other educational documents to WES or uh, IQAS or any other agency. You need to send it directly to the Quebec immigration team and you need to submit it along with the other documents. Now, proof of funds need to be shown to prove the financial stability. The uh, amount which is to be shown is much lesser than what is required in the express entry. They assume it for the first three months. So that is the reason why the amount is uh, much lesser. However, in the case of express entry, they want it for around six months. So that is the reason. Uh, how much is it? I'll show it to you towards the end of this video. Let's just start with the points table first of all. Okay guys, so this is the selection grid for the regular skilled worker program. Or you can also say it as the points table as they've given points here for different factors like uh, training, experience, age, language proficiency, etc. We'll go through it one by one. So the cutoff score is two points for the level of education, which means that you must have cleared the general high school uh, for which you'll get only two points. Uh, however, for do doctorate university, you'll get 14 points. Now, area of training, you would get 0, 2, 6, 9, or 12. If your area of training is A, in that case, you'll get 12 points. Now, what is this area of training? Let's, let me just uh, go through it. So, this is the list of areas of training which have, they've have mentioned over here. Section A will get you 12 points. So, let's say that uh, you are an uh, engineer. Uh, let's say electrical electronics and communication engineer and you've done a bachelor's so in that case you'll get 12 points here okay now uh, section a is also given here they have given you no know, section b as well so you'll get nine points for section b uh, again it's continued so it's a long list here of, you know it's applicable for different people uh, for section c you'll get six points and so on so I'll provide the link to all of these uh, PDF files in the description box if you want, you can check it out. Now for the experience. So for six months to 11 months, you'll get four points. Uh, however, if your experience is less than six months, that you won't get any point. And if your experience is more than four years, in that case, you'll get 
eight points. That is the maximum. You might have 10 or 12 years of experience that won't fetch you more points. Okay, the age. So you'll get maximum points if uh, your age is between 18 to 35 years. And you won't get any point if your age is 43 years or above. So after 35 years, two points get deducted for every year of age. Okay, language proficiency. Now here you'll see that uh, more weightage, actually much more weightage is given to the French tests. So you would score, you know, uh, for different CLB levels, uh, you'd get for the maximum best CLB level, you'll get seven points, six points, five points. So this is uh, the uh, there for French, but for English, you'll get, you know, two points if you score the best one. Stay and family in Quebec, you'll get, you know, certain points for, the, for that. If uh, your other stays were like three months or more, you'll get some points for that. If you have, if you've got a family member in there in uh, Quebec, in that case, you'll get three points for that as well. Here are the uh, spousal factors. So if the if your spouse is also accompanying with you, you'll get points for her education, for her area of training, uh, his or her sorry, and uh, your age, uh, the language proficiency as well. So there are different points again assigned to the spousal factors. There is is a uh, for a validated job offer. If in case you do have it, that's not a uh, eligibility requirement. If in case you do have it, you'll get fourteen points for it. That's the maximum. And they have divided it into you know some way. I know it would be very difficult uh, for anybody to get a job offer, so I'll, I won't get into deep into it. Uh, now the cutoff score for employability is forty three or fifty two. Now let's. Uh, this is the main thing over here. We have to focus on this. The passing score at uh, the preliminary and selection list, selection test is 50 points if you are not married and it's 59 if you want to immigrate with your spouse. So remember it, 50 points if you are single, if you are not, if your spouse is not accompanying you and uh, 59 points if you are traveling and if you want to immigrate with your spouse. So uh, this was uh, the selection grid and let me take you through another uh, PDF file over here. This is the documents uh, which is to be submitted after you get the invitation for the CSQ. Now they've uh, mentioned it in very detail over here. At the time of submitting your application for CSQ, uh, you will need to submit all these documents. So there are some declarations, power of attorneys. You have to submit the supporting documents as well or your identity proofs. I'll provide this link in the description box below. Uh, what's important here is you don't have to submit an ECA for education. Check out this section. So you can see that you know you have to submit your uh, certified crew copies of uh, money. That's a crew copy. That's not an original document that they're asking for. So you have to submit the transcripts. So you have to be ready with the transcripts, but you don't have to send it to WES or any other organization just like in the case of express entry so this was which uh, one point which i wanted to point out uh, you can check all the other documents you have to submit the reference letter you know work experience letter all of these things you can check it out i'll provide the link in the description box below hey guys about the proof of funds this is the financial self-sufficiency contract that you need to sign it is for the skilled workers entrepreneurs and self-employed workers now let's see what is the proof of funds that you need to actually have with you. If you're just one adult who is applying, that is just a principal applicant, you need to have around 3,200 Canadian dollars, which is actually much lesser in comparison to what is there in the express entry. If you are two adults, you need to have uh, 5,200 Canadian dollars. So this is uh, what is actually needed. You can also go through this document. I'll provide it in the description box. Hope it will help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the like button if you think it was helpful for you and share it with your friends if you think it can be helpful for your friends. And also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.